Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Testosterone. Testicular cancer. <laughs> Test of the Dumaville. Okay, we're set. Party monster, take one. Good. So, why don't you start at the very beginning? A very good place to start, if you'd say so. <laughs> I think it's so important to begin with a bang, don't you? Let him know something horrible is going to happen. And then poof! And we're suddenly elsewhere. Michael Alex's Blood Feast Party. Just a quiet night out with a few friends. <laughs> That's Michael, Exhibit A. King of the club kids. What a mess. He used to be such a sweet kid. Michael, I hate you for making me say serious things, so I will only say this once. You've gone too far with the drugs. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Exhibit B. Moi. The younger, prettier one. I was going to write the great American novel, but instead I found myself playing the sidekick in a sick and twisted buddy movie. James, are you sure you're not the one that's a mess here? <laughs> okay, guilty as charged. But things were about to get a whole lot messier. So come with me now, on the last night of my life. The night of my overdose. Google, anybody home? Well, there you are. You look awful. So do you. So, how's the novel coming? Well, I've done another page. But now I think I might have writer's block. Two pages in five years. Come. We'll take our tea in the bedroom. So, notice anything different? The flies? No, seriously, Jane. Anything or anyone missing? Like a drug dealer that used to live here. Well, Charlie, that could be anyone. Can I buy a vowel? Think. I know. Angel. Where is Angel, anyway? I killed him. <laughs> of course you did, darling. Oh, oh I hate heroin. New shoes? Oh, they're angels. He was wearing them at the time. Of course he was, darling. And that's blood on the toe, right? I didn't mean to. It was self-defense. <laughs> James? 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 Oh, typical James. Tired old drug addict. Can't even stay awake for your own movie. Not that it's your movie. You think it's yours, but it's really mine. Oh, my. Hi. I'm Michael. <laughs> I grew up in the Midwest. Usual story, felt different, really didn't fit in. But I wasn't going to turn the other cheek. No siree. I started selling candy in school. Jacked up the prices several hundred percent. This is my Michael. He was always making money. He just, he had a knack for it. Yeah. My little candy man. Let's see. 
What else? Oh, once when I was 10, my Sunday school teacher took me back to his house. He taught me how to French kiss, among other things. He really took my boy under his wing. Very nice man. His mother caught us in the basement. And she screamed, I told you not to bring them here. And he said, don't, you'll frighten them away. <laughs> One night, Michael gave me a good night kiss. That the little boy should not give his mother. <laughs> I thought everyone kissed like that. So like any small town boy, I had big time plans. So it should come as no surprise that I ended up in New York City. One day, I realized I didn't want to have to get up in the morning and go to work. I didn't want to be like all the drearies and normals. I wanted to create my own world. A world full of color where everyone could play. One big party. That never ends. No, 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 for the love of God, no. We are not going to start with Michael Alley's pathetic childhood. I was molested. <laughs> I had a hard time growing up, too. And I dreamt of bigger and better things. And I moved to New York City before he did. I, I, I was the original club kid. So, now that that's sorted, a few simple rules of New York nightlife in the early 80s. Rule number one, perception is reality. So when you're going nightclubbing, never merely arrive, always make an entry. Rule number two, make sure your outfit works in black and white, and that it's a conversation piece, even if you are the one doing the talking. It's Blood Feast for June Bride. Get me to the church on time. To be famous, okay, rule number three. Watch out for pushy, obnoxious little busboys who don't know their place in the scheme of things. Hi, I'm Michael Al. Well, I'll alert the media. <laughs> Got a dash. Oh, if only I had tossed him aside. But I've never been able to resist ministering to life's losers. You're late. I know. I really shouldn't have come at all. That's my door. Well, I didn't expect to be dining at the Four Seasons, but... What do you do? I don't do. I just am. Extremely rich. Anyway, if I'm to stay in this roach motel a moment longer, we're gonna need to take things up a notch. I, I don't do drugs. Nor do I. Did you see that? It just flew right up my nose. My mother says drugs are for losers. She's so right. The ketamine hydrochloride, AKA Special K, is mainly used by vets as an animal tranquilizer. When taken by humans, it works as a dissociative drug, selectively reducing excitation in the central mammalian neurons by n aspirate. In other words, it fucks you. <laughs> I, I want you to teach me how to be fabulous. We have nothing in common. We, we both bite our nails. Please, don't go. I, I don't have any friends. I just got here. I, I just got off the bus. The road of excess leads to the palace of wisdom. Blake, William, that's really all you need to know. That and don't dream it, be it. Rocky Horror Picture Show, it's my favorite. And we saw my copy of Slated. You look so good in it. Flattery will get you everywhere. Now, it's all about photo placement. So if you're in a group of three, always, always, always make sure that you're the one standing on the right. Because that way, when they print the picture, you'll be the one on the left. And the caption will read, James say James and blah, blah, blah. We're seen, OK? OK, rules of press. Number one, no publicity is bad publicity. Number two, once something is printed, it automatically becomes true. So number three, never, ever dish anyone in print. Never be seen drinking anything other than champagne, and never take heroin, never wear white after Labor Day, and uh, avoid that one like the plague. More. More. Okay. Okay. The art of working a room. 
Upon making your grand entrance, take your partner by the hand and circle around the room. Smile and say hello to everyone in the room, even if you don't hello. know them. Especially if you don't know them. Hi! 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 Hi. Oh, I'm so glad you came. I know you. He's fabulous. <laughs> go once around the room in opposite directions. You go clockwise to my anti-clockwise. Tell all the people how you've lost your friend and how desperate you are to find them. Where can my friend be? Now suddenly, we bump into each other <laughs> and scream with uncontained joy. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Good. Now, link arms and round we go once more, telling all our newfound friends how we found each we other. Found each other. We found each don't other. Don't worry, I found we them. Found each other <laughs> then leave. The whole thing should take an hour, 90 minutes tops. Do that once a night for three months and you'll be the toast of the town. Heavens, is that the time? My Sanskrit class. Wait, wait, I don't have any money and aren't you gonna teach me how to throw a party? <laughs> how about learning to crawl before you walk? Toodles! But Michael wasn't interested in learning to crawl or walk. Just run, run, run. I went to his first party, unfortunately. There is no one here. Christina's here. She's fat. All I could think about was how I was going to be ruined if anyone saw me there. I had to escape. Look, James, this is going to be more than a club. It'll be, it'll be like a home for, for everyone who felt like a freak, for everyone who's ever beat on or spat on in high school, for everyone who felt different. And it'll be like the factory, and I'll be the next Andy Warhol. Okay, Earth to you, Andy Warhol is still alive and well. In fact, I just remembered I'm supposed to meet him. Wait, don't go. Do you want a cocktail? Here. I have drink tickets. Drink tickets. <laughs> you obviously couldn't even organize a glass of water. Oh, yeah? That was quite a stunt. Flooding my basement. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, why don't you tell me what you intend to do about it? You need me to promote this place. I can make it fabulous. Not if tonight's anything to go by. It's not me that's tired. It's your club. No one wants to come here. statement. The damage done to the club will be reimbursed from your earnings from this party and the next two parties that you throw. Wow. <laughs> A job. You won't regret this. We'll see. I love the eye patch, by the way. It's uh, very Pirates of the Caribbean. Arr. He lost it. Whatever. You should come to my house. I'll cook for you. <laughs> You'll love my meatloaf. Your assistant can come too. Oh, I'm sorry. My husband is a very busy man. Besides, we don't socialize with the employees. You'll love me, I promise. <laughs> decided to make you my first superstar. Let's talk after a couple of cocktails. Drink tickets? Oh, 
annual king and queen of downtown pageant. I'd rather suck at a urinal cake. But James, you have to come. You're my best friend. How can I be your best friend when I don't even like you? <laughs> have you met Kiyoki? Well, hello. How about a leg? <laughs> <laughs> I've always had a soft spot for Hawaiian punch. His name is Kiyoki, and he's my new boyfriend. Mm. Toodles. Toodles? Come on. Wait, it says here that I'm the MC. Taxi! So, what do you do? I'm a baggage handler. Thank you. Kennedy Airport. Well, not anymore. From now on, you're superstar DJ Kiyoki. Really? <laughs> cool. <laughs> wow. Taxi! You know, uh... I never thought I'd be running a cab to the Bronx with a guy. You know, I figure come to the to the club and tell a couple of girls, no, not tonight. <laughs> I never thought I'd be, uh, you know, uh, you know, get him. Okay. 136th Street, on the double. Are we going far? All the way, I hope. <laughs> so I mean, uh, our love child. <laughs> we'll call him Scrinkle. <laughs> As you dry your eyes, let me just say this about that. Scrinkle was just the beginning. Scrinkle begat Scrottle, and Scrinkle and Scrottle were the Lego blocks of a strange new world he was building for us all. You were either a Scrink or a Scrod. I was a Scrink Lada if I was good, or a stupid Scrod lover if I was bad. Somehow, his dopey language caught on, like his stupid parties. The winner of Michael Alling's first King and Queen of Downtown contest, Christina Superstar and Kiyoki the Inborn. <laughs> Congratulations. was trouble, all right. Michael was out for revenge. That's what I liked about it. <laughs> Michael was growing on me, like a fungus. How else to explain how he got me to haul my ass above 14th Street to his sixth floor walk-up in the Bronx one Christmas Eve? The North Pole. I've made it across the frozen tundra. My faithful huskies perished in the blizzard way back. I, I had to eat them. 
Kiyoki, would you be a lamb and rub my extremities? I, I fear they're frosted. James, I want you to be on your best behavior. Because tonight, I've invited a very important surprise guest. Let me guess. Christina. And she's going to chop us all up and serve us as fondue. <laughs> I know what piece I want. Kyoki, could you carve the turkey? You know I can't bear to. Darling, half the fun of eating meat is hacking it up. James, can you get that? Hello. <laughs> yeah, right there's five. <laughs> <laughs> Michael! Ha! <laughs> Merry Christmas, kid. Oh, Peter, thank you. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Peter. <laughs> it's so... big. Kyoki, will you put some music on? James, there's champagne on ice in the fridge. It's such a shame your wife couldn't come. Because I've been thinking. I've decided it's time for me to start throwing my own weekly party at Limelight on the main dance floor. Your parties barely break even. I have to let all these people in for free. I have to give them free drinks. Michael, I don't make any money off of you. Oh, Peter, will you stop being such a negative Nancy? <laughs> People won't be seeing dead in your club. I'm just starting to get a buzz going. Oh, would that I were a glove upon that hand. Speak again, bright angel. Yo, man, I'm with Michael. My only love sprung from my only hate. <laughs> man, I can't find a record to play, and I know it's a special night for Michael. You're right. It is. Giant animal costumes, like... I see the polar bear and Clara the carefree chicken. <laughs> and to make things really sizzle, we'll have a hot body contest and Yoki will be the DJ, of course. If you are going to be a superstar DJ, there are three simple rules you need to remember. Number one, you can always rely on the Studio 54 compilation set. They're pre-mixed. They last for hours. And number two, Madonna always works. And number three, when all else fails, play techno. It's nondescript, non-recognizable, and everyone will think that you are so cutting edge. Oh, I love this record. It's so disco 2000. <laughs> I am not addicted to drugs. I'm addicted to glamour. You, James Clerk, you should be ashamed of yourself. How dare you use my real name? And Michael, your champagne, correction, your sparkling wine tastes like piss. <laughs> so where was I? Oh, yeah. So uh, we'll uh, put James in a cage and uh, hang a sign over it that says, do not feed the drug child. It'll transform limelight and New York nightlife forever. It'll be more outrageous than anything before. It's new stars, no rules, anything goes. Everyone will want to come. Michael, aren't you listening to anything I've said? Yes, sir. -y. But this will work.
I'd stake my life on. You're crazy. Ah, James Kiyoki. <laughs> Just in time to toast to Disco 2000. To Disco 2000. My sour grapes were his sweet wine. Don't ask me how, but it clicked. Suddenly, the hateful little turd was the king of the club kids. I had to adapt or die. Behind me, the choice of the new generation. Weird clothes, wild makeup, and no particular sexual preference. Club kids? or club brats, you decide. They hold illegal outlaw parties in subways, and they take ecstasy, a drug known to cause brain damage in rats. The road of excess leads to a palace of fabulousness. Watching that. How nice of you to show up after what? Four or five days? You're fucked up, aren't you? Oh, everyone, this is Freeze. He used to be a hat maker, now he's a drug dealer. Everyone say hello. Michael, please. Ha. Fucking junkie. 
Oh, is that for me? How lovely. Take it, you little fuck. Hey, don't touch my records, man. Your records? Ha! Don't make me laugh. You don't even know how to play. You're not a superstar DJ. You're a piece of shit DJ, and everybody knows it. Congratulations on getting out of the very dangerous world of haberdashery. Well, drugs are just a sideline. Profitable, though. Hmm. May I sample your wares? Okay. You did what? Well, I just figured if you're gonna ruin our relationship by doing drugs, I should see what all the fuss is about. Oh, great. So now we have two drug addicts in the family? And Scrinkle makes three. <laughs> do you have any more? What do you mean, any more? More is in, is in more, moron. What part don't you understand, duh face? Fuck you, I'm out of here. You're just mad because I did all your stuff, and I didn't even like it. If you walk out that door, I'm gonna kill myself. I just want to be loved. <laughs> there isn't enough love in the whole wide world to satisfy you. Well, Kyoki's all I need. I know what you need. A nice hot cup of hot chocolate. Can you put some ecstasy in mine? What? Since when are you into drugs? Ecstasy isn't a drug, silly. It's not even a listed substance. It's just medication for my rapid cycling bipolar disorder. <laughs> People say we're superficial. We are. Profoundly so. We're two peas in a pod, you and I, Jane. Pity the pod. You're the Yoda to my Luke. Excuse me. You are the Paula Abdul to my Janet Jackson. It's good, right? Did I ever tell you about my first boyfriend in junior high? I think you're about to. Cue the music. <laughs> when I was 14, we were inseparable, him and I so that we'd never have to be apart. We came up with this plan that he'd kidnap me and my body would never, ever be found. We spent days practicing to see how long I could spend in confined spaces. And the day before the kidnapping, his father found us wrestling. After that, he'd never talk to me again. I called him last night, after Kiyoki left. He's married now with kids. He wouldn't even come to the phone. His wife hung up on me. I really think you should move in with me, James. I'm just like a balloon. Unless someone holds my string. I'll float away. Good. It's settled then. 
We'll go get your stuff later today. Our magazine's on the stands today. Can you believe it? Our own magazine. <laughs> I've already seen it. There's a problem. A big problem. I think cut off. James St. James heads up white slavery, sells 12-year-old boys on Avenue B, exclusive by Michael Alec. Why, Michael? Why? Oh, come on, Skrink. I think it's funny. Uh, my father does not share your sense of humor. I didn't know he was a Project X reader. Yes, he did, because you sent him a lifetime subscription, and now I've been cut off without a penny. So, no more trust fund, and no more Gaultier, and no more fucking Comme des Garçons, Michael. Well, at least you have a father. Michael, for once, this is not about you. Look, James, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll talk to your father, I, I promise. Look. Why don't we make a pact, okay? That whenever you're down, I'll help you. And whenever I'm down, you'll help me. It's kind of like a seesaw, except neither one of us can get off. I'm starved. I finished the most marvelous sentence today. That's great. What's for dinner? I've been working on it for two whole weeks. The rhythm, the syntax, the dissonance, the diphthongs, it's perfect. <clears throat> Last night, I dreamt of guacamora again. It's really a shame you can't publish a sentence. I'm convinced it would be a bestseller. Toasted animal tranquilizer, expertly prepared by your sous chef. <laughs> to Kiyoki call. Yeah. He promised he'd call. Well, we'll see him next week in Dallas if he bothers to show up. Yeah. You know what? You need a new project. Somebody to keep you busy. I know. Why not create a new superstar? A superstar drug dealer. They'd be instantly popular because drug dealers can afford the best outfits and everybody loves drugs. And they would give you all the drugs you wanted for free. And if they didn't, I'd just 86 them right out of the club. <laughs> Don't spill it. Oh, Michael, you're such an addict. Oh, that'll be Kyoki. Is that Kiyoki? What did he say? Did he ask about me? <laughs> Something wrong? It wasn't Kiyoki. It was the police. No, give me my K. The police? What did they want? Stop trying to change the subject. Michael, tell me. 
Christina's dead. Now, give me my goddamn K. Michael, oh my God. Come on, let me do your makeup. We're gonna be late. Late? How, how can you even think about going out? I've been planning this party for months. Christina had no right to go and die on us. You ghoul. Oh, please. The best superstar is a dead superstar. Stop it. I mean it. Come on. Let me do your face. We're gonna be late. Welcome to Chicken Bun. May I take your order, please? Yes, I'd like 300 cheeseburgers and 300 french fries, please. Um, will that be to stay or to go? To stay. Will there be anything to drink with that? How about one of your thick and creamy milkshakes? Call me Rod for short. Hello, Rod. are coming. <laughs> hey, 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 do you, do you still want that milkshake? Of course, to go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, meet America's future, the club kids. Here they are. Whatever for. And it's not even our Halloween show. <laughs> Club kids. So what do you actually do? We don't do. We just are. Mm. <laughs> but what about work? <laughs> well, it takes a lot of work to look that ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my winged <laughs> Valkyrie. <laughs> How do you do support yourself? Well, oh, I... can't you guess? He's a drug dealer. <laughs> no, but seriously. Oh, it's all just innocent fun. They're not hurting anyone. Let the children play. We're partying with the club kids. Famous because they're fabulous. <laughs> I'm so cool. <laughs> Michael, where have you been? Jail. Oh, my baby behind bars. Oh, me and Rodney hijacked and crashed a cab. Angel bailed me out. <laughs> Angel? Well, actually, Angel bailed you out. Me? Yeah, I told the police I was you. 
Oh, James, it's just all in fun. <laughs> and after I told them that you had AIDS, they gave me my own room with a VCR and ice cream. <laughs> Michael, I don't even like you. I have never liked you. So, just what is a club kid? It's all about self-expression. You know, if you feel like a troll, then you should look like a troll. It doesn't matter what you look like. I mean, if you have a hunchback, just throw a little glitter on it, honey. Go dancing. <laughs> and you are? He's a troll. Troll Saint Troll. Huh. I am James Saint James, the original. <laughs> the original drug child. <laughs> As you can see, years of abuse have taken its toll on the troll. <laughs> Although he looks much older, he just turned 30. I am 21, and Michael Alley has stolen all of my ideas. <laughs> what about the future? Can you really be a club kid in your 50s? Ask my mom. Why not? Um, <laughs> my son is a success. And he started out selling candy from a little shoebox at school. And now he sends a stretch limousine for me at the airport. Isn't it true, ma'am, that your cause. son Michael turned you on to the pill, uh, ecstasy? Yeah. Well, he said it was a headache pill. Mm -hmm. What happened when you took it? My headache went away. <laughs> <laughs> the club kids are conducting a nationwide talent search starting in Dallas next week. Thank you all for being here. These are the club kids. God bless you all. Thanks so much, Mr. Chicken. Great. Thank you, dear. Great stuff, dear. Really like it. All right. I know you don't like them, but the place is packed almost every single night. The kid is doing something great. Mm -hmm. And that's going to do us a lot of good when the feds shut us down. <laughs> how could you do that? Angel, have you got... Michael, how could Michael, you do that? Do what? Lie about my age to the entire United States. Michael. Angel, I really Michael, need... It's time to go. I've got a date. Mama, I can't, I can't take you to the airport. I'm sick. No, you're sick. What, what, what's oh, it's there? nothing. It's just no. heroin withdrawal. Michael. Michael. This is all your fault. My fault. All your fault. You, you feeding my child drugs. No, didn't you say that? Ah. Come on, I'll take you to Port Authority. I came in a stretch limo. I'm not leaving in the bus. tragedy. Pay you to fly around the country recruiting club kids? No. Think of the press. Think of the cost. I buy you an apartment, set you up with a magazine, pay all your bills, and still you want more. It's never enough, is it? It's a reciprocal kind of relationship, you know, Peter? Father-son kind of thing. And another thing. Your drug use is becoming indiscriminate. I won't do crack without heroin. Come here. Take a look at this. You want to know what that is? They're the feds. And they're watching me around the clock. They think I'm running some kind of drug supermarket. Oh, Peter, you're just paranoid. You know what your problem is? You just don't know how to have any fun. I have a little more, you know, for expenses.
can't believe you're here in Dallas. Oh, you look just like you did on TV. That show changed my life. There you were, up on that screen and famous for no reason. I thought, oh my God, that's what I want to do. I cried. God, just wait till you try my drug salad. Where's Kyogi? He didn't make his connection. <laughs> Something he's been doing for some time now. <laughs> something, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now that's what I call a guardian angel. Stick with me, angel. I'll make you a superstar. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Grab. That sprinkler do to you. Brooke, you should really move to New York. Shut up, New York. Oh, honey, he says that to everyone. Some of them actually do move to New York, the poor things. No job, nowhere to stay. In the twig of an eye, there are homeless crack addicts prostituting themselves on the streets for a buffalo nickel. <laughs> Don't listen to Jane. She's suffering from dementia. Dementia? I know her. She's a drag queen, right? Can my friend Gitsy come too? Hey, Gitsy, come over here. Come here. Gitsy, Michael, Michael, Gitsy. Hi. Hi. Gitsy. What a great name. <laughs> Of course, you can both come. And he could be my new girlfriend. I can't believe I just saw you on TV. Mm. And you can both stay with us. Michael, isn't it getting a little crowded in our humble abode? What with Breeze, Angel, moi, your name, Brooke? Brooke, and this one? Oh, James, it's not like I see you paying any rent. I cook, I clean, I, I take care of your mother. Salad is served. Five minutes to showtime. Showtime? We show. But we don't have a show. <laughs> we don't do anything. Curtain up at the end of this song. Song? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Manhattan Family It's supposed to be sick. No. But it's my birthday, and I want to have a blood feast. It's over my dead body. If you want your mortgage paid, you will check yourself into rehab. But I can't afford to. If you get yourself into a rehab, you can have your blood feast as a goal. Thank you, Peter. I, I promise. Ooh, I got something for your vacation.
My money, Michael. So good right now. Michael, I want my money. so nice being dad. <laughs> Look at you in that. Oh my god. I just got a great idea. The emergency room. We'll all get dressed up like like nurses and doctors and give out prescriptions for free drugs and and Kiyoki will DJ and you can be you can be a serial killer nurse with the enema. <laughs> Michael, I can't. <laughs> can I be a mental patient? Of course you can. James, you have a bump of K. I really try to get my act together and write, Michael. A little bump of K is gonna kill me now. <laughs> Come on, let's, let's get out of here. Michael, you can't just leave. You're attached to things. Michael! Come on, James. The show must go on. Severance pay. Mm-hmm. Where's Peter? I think that he's done everything he can for you, Michael. He's not your father. Well, Peter still loves me more than he loves you. 
I'm so fabulous. Dr. Rock, look on the floor. Look in the carpet. Find her up. You did what? We did all your drugs, and we need some more. Now. You're gonna have to pay for all of this. How about paying me some rent? For what? Huh? All the fucking drugs you've done for free? Forget it! Oh. I get it. You're a nobody who I turned into a somebody. Because of me, people know who you are. Because of me, you get to go on television. But that isn't good enough for you, because, because you think you're above it. You and your tired old angel wings. Don't start with me, Michael. You're just some, some lame-ass, Johnny-come-lately, fairy faggot copycat. You don't know your screen from your squad, you stupid logger blogger. But still, no hard feelings. Merry Christmas. Fuck! 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 I don't need to buy. 
butt in here, but what is Brooke doing in my bedroom? Ah! Michael, what is James doing in my bedroom? We have a pact, remember? Michael, where's my fucking money? You better give me my fucking money, Michael. Because I know a lot of shit that cops would be interested in right now. Bye bye, Peter Gation. My teapot, my favorite teapot. It was self defense.
Let me be the first to congratulate you on your first overdose. Mm -hmm. Let me be the first to congratulate you. It was genius. Only you could dream of something like this. You could dream of what? Last night's party. It was better than a 10-inch dick, and you know it. When Angel was lowered from the ceiling, boy, oh boy. And to think I believed you actually killed him. I swallowed a hook, line, and sinker, but I should have known. I should have known you could never kill anyone. James, James you're delirious. Here, listen to this. Michael Musto's call. Night clubbing. Mr. Mass was fighting Mr. Dealer about money he was owed. Mr. Dealer was choking Mr. Mess, just as Mr. Mess number two came in and hit Mr. Dealer over the head with a hammer. Fabulous! You even suckered the press! It's genius! Yes. But I lied. Yes, all the time. Well, not this time. Don't you want to know how I got rid of the body? Okay, Mr. Psycho Killer. I'll play along. Settle up. Days passed. We didn't know what to do. <sighs> Shut up, that smell. Clemens fucked. After about a week or so, the smell got so bad, I said to Freeze, we have to do something about this terrible mess. I don't know what you're talking about. But Freeze isn't very good in the dead body disposal department. No siree. So uh, I sent him to Macy's kitchen where to buy some knives and a TV because he needed a big box. I did so much heroin that day, I, I hoped it would kill me. But it was easy. The meat just fell away and the bones just snapped. We put it all into a box in the living room and uh, after a few more days we threw it into the river and loaded away. It wasn't like he was alive or anything. He was totally dead. James, say something. Don't be jealous. We're going to rehab. Right now. It's gonna be like a honeymoon. We'll start all over again. No drugs. Nothing. We're gonna drive across country. Sleep under the stars. Swim in the cool crystal waterfalls. Just you and me. And you'll get better. And everything will all get better. How do you call it? Michael. Such a man. Mm -hmm. 
promise me you'll never leave me. Scrub the dog. I can pee again. <laughs> <laughs> Drugs at the clubs, the emergency room, and the private parties at hotels. Michael, I, I thought you'd been arrested. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> I need money. Well, Michael, I'm broke. And I've got a stomach ache. What's this? Is this your manuscript? No, Michael, don't. There's nothing here. <laughs> oh, James, you're going to have to do better than that. Oh, that'll be Bill and Ben. <laughs> I made a deal. I'm helping the police with their inquiries. About, about the murder? No, silly. The drug investigation. It's fun. Bill and Ben don't care about the murder. They're going to give me anonymity. Immunity. Whatever. You know, Michael, if it really was self-defense, then you've got nothing to worry about. You can... You should just turn yourself in.
So I got to go. Peter was like a, a father to you. He gave you everything. How can you just rat him out? Oh, James, I'm getting away with murder, and you're just jealous. Clara the chicken, I see the bear, and Tiresias the rat. No, I don't remember you at all. You really should stay off the case. Anyway, I was there, I saw it all. Look. Remember that Christmas when Freeze got bitten? That was me. It's just a playful little nip. Now watch. Hold a little bit. See, that's Angel's room. Look over there in the closet. That's Angel's desk. Look what we got here. Guess who's coming to dinner? That's Michael. Hmm? Now watch. Now fast forward. <laughs> Here's where it gets disturbing. All right, so see, he's not dead yet. He's not dead yet, Jimmy. He's then not done. First, they, they strip him in. And then the old pillow trick. All right, and then he pays their resistance. The train no injection. All that stuff is used to unplug the pipes, Jimmy. Nothing! Stop it! Stop it! Disco Bloodbath, and it's all about you. Oh, James. How typical. Go and commit your own murder. I was just telling you the story of how I got you arrested. What? I can't believe you do that. Well, you gave me no choice. But I'm your best friend. Isn't that what best friends are for? James Clark, I could kill you. <laughs> Prison isn't all that different from a nightclub. Everything's for free, and I don't have to get out of bed in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I can get all the drugs and sex I want. And after Gitty and I get married, we can have conjugal visits. Oh, Michael, I'm so sorry. Now what? You didn't hear. Gitsy's dead.
saved my life, you know. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to hang out now. Why? Because you're trying to turn this into an after-school special. Because you want to get the last word, and you want this to end with everyone liking you, and it's my movie. You can't let it end that way. You always kept our pact. I swear I need to be. I know what you're trying to do, and it's not going to work. Goodbye, Michael Alley. I can't believe you still talk to him. When was the last time you heard of a pee changing his pod? Well, at least he gave me something to write about. Cured by writer's block. Temptations got